it's 100 years since women had the vote and with the onset of the Me Too movement and being to so many conferences where you've just seen people scraping to have possibly a token woman on a panel or the occasional keynote speaker, we just wanted uh, a, a day full of travel industry professional women and outside speakers with something really important to say uh, that would just deliver great content to our delegates and um, and you know just to make our stand for um, equality. So the idea came to us that it would be an absolutely perfect time to have an all-female speaker lineup to celebrate the centenary of when the first women in the UK got the vote. Brexit is the big elephant in the room and it's very hard for businesses to know what lies ahead because there's so much uncertainty. And it's also very hard for businesses across all different sectors to get a clear steer from the government, from the civil service, from special advisors, even from the media about what is going to happen because the truth is nobody knows. The British government is trapped in what I call a never-ending Brexistential crisis but this does have a serious knock-on effect for businesses in terms of how they want to do their planning, what are the rules and regulations that will be in place after we leave the EU and of course what will the implications be for freedom of movement particularly for the travel industry and on staffing as well. So I think we're finding ourselves in quite a difficult situation and for any business uncertainty is a very difficult problem. I was talking about the recent Me Too movement and my own everyday sexism project I'm really looking at how women women's stories have come out over the past year and what they reveal about the realities of sexual harassment in the workplace. Because we know that this is a really prevalent issue in business today as well as wider society. Recent statistics from YouGov, for example, suggest that over half of women are still experiencing sexual harassment in the workplace and two-thirds of young women. So we know that this really is something that affects a lot of people. I think it's really important that today's conference featured more women line up because it shows that actually all those people out there who say oh, it's just impossible to find the women, the female experts aren't there, are talking absolute nonsense. You know, actually, this isn't about excluding men, but the fact that some people have been very angry about it really shows why it's still needed because, of course, we wouldn't blink an eye if we saw an all male conference lineup, as we so often do. But this was about putting the spotlight on women and women's voices in this year, which has been so much about listening to women who have previously been silenced.